Hey guys, how's it going? Pleasure to come at you from Midwest Fur Feds for another yeah. food for thought. Today, on a special request, we are actually going to go ahead and do a, a certain brand of soda for a beautiful vixen, uh, quite native to Mexico. Goes by the name of Aurora Fox, or Aurora Vixen rather. Um, we are going to be doing a Mexico favorite, because these drinks are bottled in Mexico, of the Parito Sodas. Now, I'm going to actually have one person be a taste tester for these because there are nine flavors. So, we're going to have him go ahead, try all of them, and, you know, tell what his favorite is because he does love them just as much as any other person with, uh, well, I can't say, you know, with uh, Spanish blood in them or something like that. But uh, they're very delicious and, you know, they're all over the place. So, for my taste tester and also my translator, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and have Darius, once Hi again. Guys. How are you guys doing? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, here, that, you're going to need that. So, anyway, the first one we're going to try is guava. Or the wording oh. wording underneath it. Uh, this is actually gua um, gua um, guayaba, which is basically a native fruit of uh, Guatemala. It's, I mean, excuse me, it's a native fruit of Guatemala and Mexico. Uh, it is basically what you think the kiwi looks like, only it has a red inside that's bitter, but it has a very delicious aftertaste. One of my, actually, one of my very favorite fruits. So, uh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I heard ah. it open, but it didn't pop open. Got it! Ooh! Whoops, had an accident. <laughs> Alright, so... I got it. As they say in uh, in New York, um, bottom. What do they say in Mexico? They, you know what they say in Mexico? Delicioso. <laughs> um, has the same, um, has the same, uh, has the same exact flavor of, um, guava. Uh, it's carbonated, of course, because it is a soda. But, um, Haritos is actually famous because they're a soda company in Mexico. Uh, it has the actual natural guava taste, guava taste, which actually makes it funny because it's uh, artificial sugar, but I guess the fact that it says 100 natural sugar says it all. Natural sugar. <laughs> so, yeah, look at that. But pretty much, is it like uh, like like cane sugar, like you would say uh, Jones sodas? Actually, no. It's more like actual pure purebred cane sugar, like actual cane sugar from Mexico, which is actually a lot more uh, healthier, thicker, and denser than cane sugar from over here. Oh, okay. Uh, this so actually it's actually a healthier, uh, healthier kind of soda. So better Mexican homegrown. Yes. Okay. Most definitely. All right. So if you wanna drink it a little bit more, yeah, I think you like it. No, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> so the next one is tamarind. Uh, tamarind, um, tam tamarind, tamarind or tamarindo is a native fruit in Mexico. It's uh, it looks about the size of pea pods, a lot, four times bigger. Contains nuts that actually produce a juice. So it's also known as the bittersweet nut because despite how bitter it tastes in the beginning, it is actually fantastic at the end. So it's another very good fruit. Yeah, and with that said, I popped up another one. I should take these up. <laughs> We're in the hotel. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Don't worry. We'll be cleaning this stuff up when okay. we're all done so here. So here's, tam um, here's tamarindo. Okay. okay. Again, as you can tell, they're all 100% sugar. So let's see. Okay. And again, this is bittersweet. Like a bittersweet nut. And as always, but a sweet nut, about six feet nut. Very, very good. It's also um, good when it's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, it's actually, you know what, I like these drinks, they're ice cold. And the cool thing about Mexican sodas like this is, even if, even if you keep them out, they, they have a way to stay cold for hours and hours and hours. This is amazing. Um, I know, I actually took them out of the fridge and kept them in a warm cooler for a while for like, you know, almost half a day, and they actually were still cold when they got to the hotel. So yeah, they're actually pretty, they're actually decent. Um, actually, it's still pretty cold, but um, yeah, it's <laughs> same same flavor. Uh, it's a it's the you have you, you have the taste of the nut there, more it has a little bit of a honeysuckle taste, but it's very sweet at the end, which makes it fantastic. Well, that's cool. All right then. <laughs> um, num, num. So the next one we're gonna try is Darius. Translation for this one again. It's lime. Basically, it's the green lemon, otherwise known as lime. Darius. Oh, this is wrong. Oh, excuse me, wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> this is toronja. Uh, toronja is basically grapefruit. You heard of naranja, which is orange, and grapefruit is toronja. 
Uh, think of grapefruit as an overswelled orange that is very stale. Uh, it has, it's, it's rather sour, it's more sour than um, oranges, but, but it's sweeter than lemons. But it does have a stale taste, so it does tend to give a bother to some that don't like it. Um, but, you know, it's actually, but it's still good nonetheless. I personally do not like grapefruit, but, uh, which, what's weird is, despite the fact me not liking grapefruit, I love, the, I love the drink. You can come over if you want, you know, Palmer. Yes. Uh, so. <laughs> What do you think of that for us? Yeah. That one tastes like a tea. Actually, it's a really good one. This actually tastes very good. Here, Husky. Uh, what do you want? Why don't you have a seat and join us? So, uh, you want to try? Shut up. No. Oh, it's, it. it's Mexican soda. That shit better be made in real life. It is. <laughs> now sit. He's part of it. <laughs> oh. Fuck you. <laughs> Yes, we're censoring this video after this. Screw that. Anyway, uh, actually, <laughs> all right. Uh, Toronto again <laughs> is uh, grapefruit. Uh, now, I'm not one to drink a lot of grapefruit juice because I just really don't like it. Is it just straight soda? grapefruit juice no, or? No soda. Uh, I don't drink grapefruit juice or soda, but I must say, again, Haritos knows how to make their sodas, and they got rid of the stale aftertaste, that bitter aftertaste of that the grapefruit has. So this is actually rather delicious. Uh, would you say? Would you compare that to like a Canfields or, or like a 50-50? Uh, if I had to compare it to uh, Canfields, I'm sorry, but this hands down. Is. Okay. I mean, because Canfields does have that bitter aftertaste that kind of lingers a little bit, but then you know you taste sweet afterwards. Nonetheless, this doesn't have that, so it's actually rather pleasing to drink. I really don't know any other kind of grapefruit sodas. Uh, there's very rare, there's very few grapefruit sodas. You'd have to go to New York if you want to find some other ones. Yeah. I mean, there, there, there's plenty of them out on the market, but normally most of them won't, don't exactly show up. Okay, next one, of course, Fruit Punch. Fruit Tropical. Fruit Punch. Just drink it and try it. Fruit Punch, a uh, United States favorite, as well as an all-around-the-world favorite. All the types of fruits in one damn drink. That's why it's red, that's why it's delicious, that's why I love it. And the actual translation for Fruit Punch is? Uh, Jugo Tropical. Which, in, in correct literal terms, is Tropical Punch, but Tropical Punch and Fruit Punch are the exact same thing. I don't care what anybody says. It is the exact same thing because it involves every fruit and everything. It's bittersweet. That's bittersweet. Right. Trust me, you have to have a taste for most of this stuff. So, here's this. Fruit okay. Punch. Fruit Punch. Did you break your glasses? What? Did you break your glasses? Yeah. <laughs> Right, I'm still so recording, you genius. Anyway, um, you were drinking it. Shut up. Fruit punch. <laughs> uh, tastes like any other. Okay, I'll be honest. This is one of the sodas that I kind of, I kind of find least favorite, favorite of because, despite it being um, from Mexico, um, the, it tastes just like it would out here in the U.S. Uh, the one thing that I do like about it though is, unlike the other sodas which you here that have fake sugar, this has natural sugar, so it brings out a little bit more of the flavor. I However, it, it it does have more of a stale beginning. I do know that there are a lot of fruit punch drinks out there. There's like, uh, there was like Fago Fago fruit punch or Ohana fruit punch. Uh, yeah, tropical fu fruit punch, tropical fantasy, top pop. Um, yeah, yeah, Fanta. Uh, yeah, Fanta did have it. So did um, and so did Sunkist. Tahiti treat. Tahiti yeah, treat. Tahiti Ooh. treat, yeah. You're right. That is right. Tahiti treat. Uh, if I had to compare this to any one of those sodas, as much as I do like the fruit punch here, I must say that I do like the artificial ones better because it brings up more of the flavor. But if you're looking for something that's sweet, that's fruity, as well as healthy, healthier to drink, this is it. All righty. Better than the V8. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I don't. I'm sorry, people. I do not want to drink vegetables with my fruit punch. Thank you. That's probably a good thing. Next one, Mandarin. Mandarin or Mandarino, uh, basically this is Mandarin oranges. Um, in Mexico they're called baby oranges. They're smaller than tangerines, but they have a lot of the uh, tart sweetness. Which, and this is like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fruits to eat. So yeah, this is something I, I like doing. So, give me a minute. <laughs> I'm in the middle of something. Hello, so, Ian. Oh. <laughs> so, I hope we're drinking all those at once. Oh. <laughs> I wish. That would be a fruit cocktail. 
What's that? For, he was charged for being a WMD and being a hound doing a sexual like that. Anyway, <laughs> Monday. In, in, in in want, <laughs> we, all, we all saw that too. They want to take my only Pokemon. <laughs> I couldn't into the league. We, we will not let that happen. Mandarin, Mandarino, like baby oranges, uh, native to Mexico, favorite fruit, love the sweetness. Anyway, let's see, let's see if that sweetness can better, um, match up to this. Well, like I said, after I've had a cold drink it, after I've had it cold and everything like that, it probably still retains the flavor. Ah, uh, this thy name is mandarin. Exact taste of baby oranges, exact taste <laughs> of what a mandarin should be. This by far is, again, and I state this through and through, and I support my theory on this, this is my favorite fucking drink. I love this. Alrighty then. Alright, so... I've okay, so... Here you go, Frost. Yay! Next yes, one. We have a guest for next one. And Boomer Husky. Uh -huh. Yes. Next flavor. Pineapple. Piña. Pineapple. You know my dad used to drink this kind of shit with um Bacardi. Bacardi limon. Actually. Your diet? Was, my father. Yeah. Oh, your father. My father, God bless, God bless his heart. Uh, he used to drink this with Bacardi limon. Uh, I have a funny story to tell you guys about this after this in the second part of this because I know this is gonna be longer than um 20 minutes. So I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, here's pineapple piña. I got a funny story to tell you guys about this after all these are done. It's all good. So, it, it, it actually matters on my childhood. This is why I actually like this ring. Thanks to, at the age of 12, this this ring became my favorite ring because of something happened. An unfortunate accident. So. Unfortunate accident. <laughs> trust me, it's not as dirty as you think it sounds. I Ooh. wasn't even thinking that. So, here's piña. I wasn't even thinking that. So I don't know what's going through your mind. Did anybody ever tell you how Horitos is the best shit? <laughs> Horitos is the best shit. I'm sorry. Natural sugar. We're gonna need a lot of black boxes. Fruit. I love this. You're gonna have a what? We're gonna need a lot of black boxes. Black boxes. What is <laughs> what is it with you in black? I'm gonna say like my fur color. Oh, I thought it was just because you were a random black man. No, he's random black cat. Yes. He's ran he's random tuxedo kitty. Well, I think we'll drink them all here. Yeah. God damn, Kitty. Sorry. Anyway. I didn't even feel that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, again, tastes purely like pineapples with the artificial sugar. It kind of lessens the actual flavor of it. However, in the beginning, you do get the full glass of flavor, which is actually very good. I like this. So it's kind of like eating straight pineapples, like, like what you say, out of a can, or like... Out of the can, we're gonna call it out of the can because it's like if you've ever had the pineapple slices in, in heavy syrup, uh, you do get you get the full blast when you eat the uh, when you eat the uh, pineapple, and then when the syrup, the syrup has a little like you know soft aftertaste, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of remember that because uh, pineapples in syrup actually is very strong. Yes. Okay. Cut for a break. Was it? Cut for a break. Okay, cut. Don't get asked for 15 minutes. Cut, yeah. cut, cut, cut. Yeah. That's why I said part two. Yeah.